Hey Eric, it's mom. Today I wanted to talk to you about how to install a shower curtain in your dorm apartment or house. So I'm just using a tension rod shower curtain and I'm gonna show you first how to um, put the shower curtain on the rod. I like to put the shower curtain on the rod before I put the, the rod up. So there are two different kinds, there are actually a few different kinds of um, shower hooks. This one will be the easiest. It just is kind of loose, doesn't close up at all. And all you have to do, this one has a butterfly, so I know you're not gonna use that. But um, you see the shower curtain has holes on one end of it. The other side does not have holes, so this is how you know this is the top. All you do is you take this hook, push it in the hole like that, and then lift it up so that it's supporting the shower curtain. And then you just place it on your hook on your rod, I mean. So that's it. That's a very easy shower hook to use. The other kind you might have is a closed system hook. So for example, we have this kind, which comes like this. And then what you do with it is you just press it and open it like that okay and then there are going to be two ways to put this on the rod one way is to not let me move this camera down a little bit one way is to um, put put it through the hole and then try to force it over the tension rod and then close it that's one way to do it but another way, if you are working with these hooks and you're afraid of breaking them or they seem a little fragile or something, you can take your hooks, put them on your shower curtain first, and then, I'm just going to swing this around, you will notice that on most of these, one side will unscrew. So let's say you didn't want to deal with breaking any of your hooks. You would just unscrew one side, oops, that fell down, and then you would put all your hooks on your shower curtain first, then put all of them onto the rod, then close it back up, and that way you haven't broken or damaged any of your hooks at all. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to put the tension rod up in the bathroom. Let me just attach this shower curtain ring that I took off. I'm just putting it over, closing it. Oh, see, I did that one wrong. There we go. Just push the beads through. Okay, so now we have the shower curtain rod and I'm just going to scoop back. I think I have to move this up again. Sorry. Okay, so now the way these tension rods work is that you can expand them by just pulling them out. You see it gets bigger, shorter, just like that. But then the question becomes how does it stay in place? So this particular one, you expand it and then you twist it and you have to twist it several times and then it'll stay in place. You see, now I can't close it like that. So the way I would install this is to loosen it, find where I want to put it on the wall. And I typically am guided by the length of the shower curtain. So I want the shower curtain to be just a couple of inches off of the floor. So I'm going to have to climb up here and I know a part of you is hoping I fall right now, but I'm hoping I don't. Find my distance, and then I'm gonna have it slightly at an angle because I'm going to tighten this and then move it to secure it. See? So it's tightened, and then I'll tighten it a little bit more just to make sure that I have it where I want it to be. Ah. Alright, that 
an angle, nice and loose. Then tighten it, and move it into place. And it's the height I want. So, just making sure it's nice and secure. There. That's a real life example of how many times it might take you. The other thing I wanted to show you is that there's another kind of tension rod and it's this kind that you don't have to twist it a whole bunch for it to stay in place. That one I had to twist quite a bit for it to stay in place, which is why it took so long and I almost fell. But this one, you just um, get it to the length you want and just with one twist, it goes in place. So this one might be a little bit easier, okay? So good luck with it. Have a nice uh, time decorating your bathroom. Bye.